Have you ever put fresh line on a spinning reel just to find out that the first cast you make, the line just explodes off? Well, if you have, this video is for you. Today, we're going to show you a trick to make sure that that doesn't happen and make sure that you're spooling up your spinning rod properly. So, some of these guys have like 15 minute videos out there showing you how to, to uh, spool up a spinning rod. Should not take that long to explain. So, basically, what I've got is some monofilament line, and this applies for monofilament and fluorocarbon lines. And I am going to run this down the first eye. I'm going to flip my bale. If you forget to flip your bale, just take the uh, spool off and uh, and just take it out, flip the bale, put it back in. Um, as far as knots, people go into elaborate stuff on knots. Just tie an overhand knot. Get it in there. Tie it again. I don't worry about taping it or any of that stuff. I mean, you're going to have so much line on this thing that by the time you get down to that knot, you're putting more line on this thing anyhow. So that knot should have no bearing on, on what you're trying to do. So. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'm going to clip it and I forgot my scissors so I'm going to go get those scissors and clip it real quick. Can Clipped. And from now basically what I'm going to do is uh, the, the reel spins clockwise and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold pressure. I've had good luck. There's people that are going to argue with you all the time about what way to come off. I've had good luck with the line coming off counterclockwise on the spool. So no matter what, you're going to get some twisting and that type of stuff. And the method I'm going to show you is going to uh, resolve that. So you don't necessarily have to spend a whole bunch of time trying to figure out what way to put the line on. So I've got this tight, and now I'm just going to I'm just going to hold it between my fingers to hold it tight, and I'm just going to start spooling here. All right, now let me see, show you the thing that frustrates people. So if I flip this off, you're going to see line just kind of fly off of there and it just kind of naturally see how it gets loose like that. And it'll just get tangled up and it's just not good. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is show you a trick. You're going to want to get it, you want to get it filled up so that you've got <clears throat> just a little bit of a lip left to hold the line in. Otherwise, it'll just explode off. There'll be nothing to stop it. So this line has memory and it's used to this size, which is why it just keeps popping off. And so I'm going to put it on this clip, put it underneath this clip right here to hold that line tight, right there. And here's the trick. Loosen this up, completely loosen the drag all the way up until the thing pops off. Watch for springs and all that fun stuff. Pop the spool off. Here's my secret weapon. A bowl of hot water. Drop it in there. Let it sit for 10 minutes. All right, it's been 10 minutes. Let's get this thing out. Slide it on. But I want to show you this, so immediately, very little line popping off of there. So much, much, much better. So that's kind of the that's kind of the trick where it just does not just explode off. You can see that it's just very much controlled. I'm even giving it some slack and it's just not popping off. So I'm gonna rig this right up, make some casts, and show you how it works out there. All right, here's the moment of truth. First cast. Cast great. You can see the line is perfectly straight coming off of there. It's not exploding off. It is windy, which is pulling just a little bit of line. But well, I hope that tip saves you a little bit of time and frustration. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, check out some more of our videos, and hit the bell when you subscribe so you get notified of all of our videos. Thanks for watching.